Well, hello. Welcome back to Twinket 76 painting. Today I have a 12 by 16 canvas, stretch canvas. It's been primed with a mixture of blue and green. It's kind of got this dark sea green kind of color or like a stormy green. I'm going to take my uh, spritz bottle here. Yeah, it's just got water in it. I'm just going to a little of that on the canvas and I'll spread that around. Just want to dampen it. It makes it a little easier to work with. Let's make that paint slide. I haven't done a video in a while, so we'll see what happens. I wanted to do this one a seascape speed painting. Notice I have some tape here. Let's keep my horizon line nice and straight. A little trick from the masters there. Alrighty. I'm just scrubbing that on. You can use any brush. Here I'll go through the colors real quick. I have some bright blue. This is black. This is uh, some type of green. Uh, I think um, they call it hunter green. That helps you out. And I have bright red, a white, and bright yellow. So those are the only colors I plan on using. Um, really don't know. I'm thinking, well, what's going to complement this dark green color? I really don't know right now. And here I am right in the middle of things. So let's just uh, let's go into some of this blue and maybe a little bit of the black. Really, I, this brush is still kind of wet. Which I don't know if I should have done that or not. We'll start off with this kind of dark color here. Let's see what happens. So you see that works really well for the underpainting the primer that I have set up here. Kind of making a nice little night scene. Maybe this will come out so bad here. Maybe I'll even go in, probably shouldn't, to this, whoops, that white just pouring right in there. Go into some of that bright red, excuse me, I'm making a real lavender color, but we'll, we'll, we'll bring that up into this color, this sky color here. Hmm. That's interesting. And I can probably take go into a little bit of the white and brighten that up. Brighten that up a little bit here in the horizon. Not too much. Don't want to go overboard, so. That's interesting. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Let's see. I can't tell if you can see that or not because I have this tape here. Excuse me a second. Okay. Well, I better stand because I'm getting a glare from the camera. I think I need more color in here. Really kind of bring that up to the sky a little better. That is different. It's just a back and forth game here. I'm playing the colors until I get it just the way I want it. Try not to overwork things. I see things and then it kind of changes as the color dulls down. Okay. I'm going to keep playing with all day long, probably. Maybe I'll even... Hmm, kind of a green thing happening, a little greener. Um, I don't know. I can just keep playing with it. A little bit of that in there. I'm kind of wanting a stormy sky, but it's not really working out like that. Okay. I think maybe I'll go back with the cleaner brush. I want it a little brighter.
white, the yellow. I don't know what I'm looking for here. I'm just playing, seeing where it goes here. not feel too good no all right I'm just gonna smooth this out see what happens That's we are our major wave now. Um, this is uh, just a dry canvas up here now. <coughs> so all I'm gonna do that. Normally, when you do this with oils, you would have this all would be liquid clear underneath, and then you'd apply a tr transparent color. And then when you put the highlights on and blend it out, and then you get that effect um, with the blend. But here I don't have that. So. Um, it's a lot of warm colors in here. So to start off, that's a little too bright. I'm gonna have to water that. Final. around and there we go uh, I'm just gonna start to make some little very exaggerated you know with this with uh, wavies motions so it's just to get it started here turn out too good but at least it'll give you an idea or try not to do that be a little more careful than I'm being um,
these little paintings. I like to use these. Um, these little brushes here. And then this kind of. It's like a half of a fan brush. It's a very tiny brush. So. And you can just kind of. It's not really blending anything, so you don't want a lot of paint. That way you're just dry blending it out. Something like that. We'll get a few more of that. And over on the side, maybe we'll... Uh, we got to darken that up a little bit. Dull the paint. Don't want it real bright, but we'll want it darker. So it don't stand out as much. Over here. So maybe even less paint than that. You want it to try to match the skies. But you know... We can come back in here and let me throw in a few brighter highlights in the center. So kinda helps support that over here, these edges, which we don't want. exactly like Bob Ross did, but you're getting the general idea here. You know, the stirring motion of the waves. Yeah. You know, if I have to go back and add some darks in again, I can do that. Yeah. Wipe that brush first. I know, watch my head, right? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't pleasant. I want to go back in and add some more darks here. There. We got too much. Yeah. And just go right back into the brights again. In fact, I should start probably changing my color to more of a, a green. Yeah, maybe I'll grab a little of that. But I think it's going to kind of change with sky as you get closer. Get some of that yellow in there. Right now. A little more of that blue too. Oh, I grabbed so much paint. Okay. I don't know. This isn't really working out, I don't think. But we're giving it a try. Not much for painting seascapes, but I had to try it. you can actually work this paint into a blend by doing this. But here you can't really. That's, that's what makes sea skips. At least this part of one tricky with the uh, 
acrylics. So all I can really do here is try to dry blend that in. A little swirling motion. Might have got a little overboard on that. Back. That's a good thing about acrylics. You can work things together. to grab a little of that of the white and see what I can do with that. Okay. That was a little over the top, I think, but eh, a lot of it'll go away, I think. I pick the paint up. Yeah, very hard to work these. Original color here. Try to work that together. All right. Now, um, what's that? Let's go back.
gotten pretty muddy so now. Oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna go into the, the blues and stuff now. Just a smorgasbord of colors. I should have kept it simpler, but whatever. Live and learn. It's not like I, every painting I do turns out great or good, even. See, I overdid a, a highlight. It makes me just want to get it back in there with dark color and cover that up. Yep. No, then I overdo the, the shadow. <laughs> I gotta come back in. Oh, well. I gotta get on, on with the painting here. I should have made more of a. I know here. Let's do this. Let's take. Probably got a little bit too white there. making a mess or what? Okay. So you can add a
it for the seascape. I'm really not happy with it. But I haven't done one in forever and um yeah, so that give you an idea anyway. Um Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Um I'll try to use better colors, maybe less colors next time. Have some a little better plot game plan, but uh, you can see how you can put it in the waves and generally how the eye wave goes and and make the crash. You, it's a good idea, to, you know, put a little rock or something up there and, and uh, just follow your wave patterns. You know. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye bye.